Hello from beautiful Boston. We are here in mid-September and it is an unseasonably warm day. But if you are wondering what to pack for your Canada New England cruise, I have got you covered from A to Z. Hi there, I'm Yolanda from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 things that we are so glad that we packed for this Canada, New England cruise, and I suggest that you do as well. But I'm also gonna share with you a few things that you can probably leave at home, as well as some clothing that you really wanna make sure that you do pack. Now, the thing about Canada, New England, that whole region, is especially if you are cruising anytime between September, October, and even into early November, the weather, well, it can really vary from day to day. In September, you can get unseasonably warm weather like we are today it's about 70 degrees or so in boston maybe even a little bit warmer and you can get other days that go as low as into the 50s so you do want to be prepared for that and when it comes to what to pack in terms of clothing and shoes i will be going through some suggestions for both men and women now before i get started i did want to mention that if you like this video if you find it helpful informative or enjoyable in any way then please do give this video a big thumbs up i really do appreciate it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already Let's get started. Now, the first thing that we packed, and I think you definitely should pack for your Canada New England cruise, but it is kind of a lightweight backpack. Now with this backpack, what we were able to do, it's so light and it kind of folds up into a little pouch that we were able to just bring this with us and only use it um, as needed. Now, as you can see, I have it actually hung up on a couple of magnetic hooks. It turned out that the backpack was a little bit heavy and so one um, hook really wasn't enough so I did use two and that absolutely worked. Now by the way something that I will do is I will leave links to all of the items that I do talk about in this video. I will leave them linked down in the description below this video. Now the next thing that you'll absolutely want to make sure that you pack is some lightweight raincoats. Now we were actually quite lucky. It only rained a little bit on one of the days during our cruise, uh, during our excursions. And all of the rest of the days were actually uh, pretty nice. But on the first day of our cruise on embarkation day, we did definitely need our light raincoats. Now the reason I say a light raincoat is because in this way what you can do is you can actually still put on a sweater underneath if you need or a t-shirt if it's a warmer day. Now something else to make sure that you bring is a pair of sneakers. So really a comfortable pair of walking shoes. Now being honest I really debated on bringing these in particular because one of the excursions that we did uh, was in the Bay of Fundy area. So it was to Hopewell Rocks where we honestly we got to walk on the ocean floor. So cool amazing excursion and my really my shoes didn't fare too badly but you definitely need some running shoes or some sneakers on a Canada New England cruise. Now as I mentioned earlier you'll want to have some magnet hooks to bring with you. Oftentimes there just aren't enough hooks that are available in the cabin so that's really handy. I will show you a little sneak peek at something else that I'm trying. These are command hooks. That is something for another video but you got a little sneak peek. Now you'll also want to have some magnetic clips. These are just really handy for your daily planners or I was keeping my shore excursions up here. Any other things sometimes you want to have like a little invoice or something you want to keep that out of the way that clutter so having those magnetic clips are really handy now something else to do is make sure that you do pack something for potential seasickness for potential rough seas this is an area you are sailing in the atlantic you might be sailing from new york or new jersey and it, it is very possible that you are going to get some rough seas during your cruise now we like to use uh bonine or bonine i'm never sure how that's pronounced but you may want to use a non-drowsy uh, Dramamine, you may want to use a ginger tablet, C-bands. There are a lot of different options. I've talked about that in a different video. So maybe I will link that at the end of this one in case you are interested in that. Uh, but you definitely want to make sure you have something in case you do hit some rough seas. Now, one of the nice things about being on a Canada, New England cruise is you're visiting two different countries and that will mean two different currencies. Now, what I do suggest you do if you are American is if you have especially a few Canadian cruise ports, 
is take out some Canadian money. Now this is Canadian money. Some of you may have already seen it before. Other people might say it looks just like Monopoly money. Maybe it does, but you are actually going to get a better exchange rate if you can get cash out instead of using your US cash. Otherwise, just use a credit card. That is absolutely fine. But yeah, this is um, our Canadian dollars. So it's definitely kind of pretty looking money, I think. And of course, still have your US dollars because when you are um, in the ports or even on the cruise ship, the crew, if you are gonna tip them a few dollars extra here and there at any point, they're going to uh, like having those US dollars. When you're in Canada, you can definitely tip any tour guides, that kind of thing in Canadian dollars. Now, something else that we brought that I was really happy that we did decide to bring are these binoculars. Now I know oftentimes if we go on an Alaskan cruise, we definitely think that we'll bring some binoculars, but I wasn't sure, should we bring them on a Canada, New England cruise? Well, we ended up seeing some seals. So that in itself, the fact that we could kind of see them a little bit more up close, it really made bringing the binoculars worth it. And I think if I had looked a little bit more, I may have even had the chance to see more wildlife at sea. Now, by the way, something I did want to mention is these travel binoculars are light as can be. I did buy them on Amazon, super reasonably priced. I will leave that linked down in the description below in case you do want to check them out. Now, something else we brought is a lanyard. I just think this is something super convenient for your cruise card to keep that in there and to be able to hang your lanyard, whether it's around your neck or just to throw it in your pocket or your tote bag, just this way, I seem to never ever lose my cruise card. Now, before I share with you kind of the clothing that you'll wanna make sure to pack, here are some things that you probably will wanna leave at home. So you could leave towel clips at home. Now, we actually had a couple of days where we could sit out um, in a little bit of sunshine on the sea days, but being honest, I just didn't feel like it really warranted having those towel clips as well. I ended up bringing two bathing suits and I would have been fine with one and one cover up. So I probably could have left one at home. And I would say the same for my husband. One bathing suit probably would have been enough. And by the way, if you're interested in cruise packing lists and other forms that will just help you to be ready for your cruise, I do have the Ultimate Cruise Planner. The Ultimate Cruise Planner is a 47 page downloadable printable cruise planner that will help you get ready for your cruise from the time that you book your cruise all the way through disembarkation. If you are interested in checking that out, I will link that down in the description below this video. Okay, so let's move on to the clothing and shoes that you'll wanna pack for your Canada, New England cruise. Now I'm gonna to try to make this a little bit quick because I don't want it to be too long a video for you, but I also do wanna make sure that you have the information that you need. Now, the very first tip I wanna share is make sure that you do check the weather forecast. I checked the weather forecast before my cruise and to be honest, a couple of weeks before we were expecting it would be cooler and rainier even up till a few days before and suddenly the weather changed and it looked like we'd have sunnier warmer weather so it is a little bit hard especially if you're going in the month of september if you're going in october or november early november you can expect it to be kind of cool so plan for cool and if you are lucky have a couple of t-shirts just in case now in my closet because i have my son and my husband you'll see a little bit more men's clothing in there but just know that is for two different men. So for ladies, some staples of your wardrobe are going to be make sure that you have some t-shirts. I believe now I have four t-shirts, but that is because I only brought, I think one or two, and I bought a couple of extra in the cruise ports. Now you'll also want to bring, if you're comfortable, wear some leggings or bring some leggings with you or some capri leggings, something like that and as well like at least one pair of jeans. Now you might want one pair of jeans for excursions, but also maybe a nicer pair of jeans for the nighttime, uh, maybe in the dining room if it is on those casual nights. Now as well, you'll wanna have a sort of sweatshirt. Ideally, this is a bit of a zippy sweatshirt, so this way I could wear it like over a t-shirt. If it is warm, I can take it off. Now I also brought this blouse to go with my jeans at nighttime. So the same jeans that you might wear during the day, you can actually wear with sort of a nice little top or something like that at nighttime, again, for a more casual evening in the dining room. Now it was warm enough to wear a dress uh, in the evening time. So I wore this dress. I'll try to insert like a photo of me actually wearing it because I thought it was kind of cute. And I did wear it with a little sweater over my shoulders in case I was cold at night. 
Now you may want to bring a dress with sleeves as well. Usually I wear a lot of sleeveless dresses if I'm in the Caribbean. My gosh, I realize this dress looks absolutely awful when it's just hanging on the wall, but I will leave um, a photo of it on. And I think it's a pretty nice dress and I can even wear it. This is a Norwegian cruise, so we don't have any formal nights, but I think if I did have a dress to your night, I could wear it on a lot of other cruise ships as well. Now I also brought a jean jacket. For some reason, I don't think I have any pictures of me in a jean jacket, but I did bring it because I thought, even though the weather was quite nice, um, if it was a little bit cool, I could still put a jean jacket on, especially for when I'm walking around some of the different towns and I could still feel comfortable, uh, but also could take it off if I wanted to. Now I would say to bring at least one sweater as well. And if you are going later on in the fall, bring a couple of warm sweaters. Those can go really well with either some leggings or some jeans look very nice. And of course, if you have any dresses with longer sleeves or dresses with shorter sleeves that you're comfortable with, just bring an extra sweater or a shawl and that is going to be perfect. Now, when it comes to men, I'm gonna show you a few different pieces as well, but something just that's really important is make sure that you do have probably at least one collared shirt. We did actually speak to people on this ship now. And again, we're on Norwegian Cruise Line uh, and they did say that they tried to go into one of the specialty restaurants in just a t-shirt and they did need a collared shirt. So a sweater would also be okay, but make sure that you do bring a couple of polo shirts. After that, bring at least one sweatshirt that you can zip up on top of those polo shirts or t-shirts. Now something to pack as well are jeans. So my husband just brought a pair of black jeans and a pair of blue jeans. And those were also great for during the day, but they could also be good for those casual evenings um, in the main dining room when it is a casual night, of course, and provided that it is the dress code of your cruise line. But that worked just fine as well. I'll try to insert some B-roll, but these are basically also some joggers. These are joggers that are really lightweight. They're from Lululemon, just super comfortable pants. My husband got them as a gift from my sons and since then he's been addicted to them. They're so comfortable, but also great daytime pants. Now he did bring a suit jacket and did not end up wearing it because we are on Norwegian, but that normally is something that we would bring for the evenings if we did have a formal night. So we did bring that on this cruise. And a pair of beige dockers or chinos just kind of a casual pant that is perfect with a polo shirt, you know, for any cruise. So Canada, New England as well. And of course you can have that in a navy or a black if you like. And do make sure to bring, just like with women, make sure that you do bring a sweater, whether it's for off the ship or in the evening time, even if you wear that with a pair of black jeans or black pants, that really is perfectly fine for a Canada, New England cruise. Now you can see here that I do have our sort of flip flops and slides and all that stuff. So we still did bring that in case we did go to the pool or we just needed something a little bit lighter for our feet. And something that my husband found instead of wearing dress shoes, even though we did bring dress shoes for the suit, he didn't wear them, but is a pair of like nicer running shoes that were dark. He's able to actually wear those on a lot of the casual or even the smart casual nights in the main dining room that will still go with a lot of the different um, outfits that he did bring at least for this cruise itinerary now he is out now otherwise i'd show you his other pair of running shoes but he did bring a very comfortable pair of running shoes they are black which was better than my white ones when we were at hopewell rocks so i hope that this video was helpful for you as you are planning and getting ready for your canada new england cruise please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments and as well please let me know about the cruise that you are doing and any tips that you have now i'm going to leave a video right after this one all about what to do to prevent and deal with seasickness in case that does happen to you if you did enjoy this video please do give it a big thumbs up i really do appreciate it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already bye for now and happy cruising